Hey girls, welcome to our Plant With Me Live. How are you tonight? I'm gonna wait for some girls to get into the room and then we are going to get started. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about how to plan your mother's day. And I know I've touched on this before, but it's so important and it's just good to refresh over it because Mother's Day is a coming. So I do want to welcome any new members that pop on. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Heather. And I want to welcome you if you're new and even just my girls that have been here for a while. Thank you for popping in and um, welcome for any newcomers. Uh, my name is Jenny Penton, founder of Planner Perfect and Project Me. And I teach women how to... Um, write a better story. I'm also um, a homeschooling mom of eight and um, I do teach women how to map out a life that they love and hey Amanda, hi Melissa and switching things around so that <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> no you're not. Um, hi Anita, switching things around so that you are not just, hi Joanne Focusing on your to-do list that you're actually, hi Lucy, you're so sweet. Hi Gina. Um, because over here on Planner Perfect, we're definitely working on um, really becoming master life planners. And you know, I was kind of thinking about this earlier today is that when you're really a woman who is on top of her game and she's really understanding how the method works and she's a visioneer for her life and she's envisioning her life and she's getting rid of the things that don't align with her goals and her family's goals and she's she's sure she's sure-footed um, oh yay Amber I'm glad you're here um, I know you're not new Heather you've been with me for a while um, and she's sure-footed and when that kind of happens when that kind of just momentum and greatness happens you're just in this flow state you know you're in this just this awesome flow state and then when that kind of, when that goes on you'll see then that there's room for you i was thinking about how when a lot of moms they get frazzled or women they're frazzled their days are full hi debbie they're doing things that probably they don't want to do or they're taking on more than their share and they're um you know they're just not really aligned with their goals much hi sharon and um when that kind of thing happens then there is no room for your goals your dreams where you're going because you're not envisioning and, and being a visioneer for your life so once you get this settled this part tweaked and settled and you're really in a really great flow state with the method and you're mapping out your life then all of these other pieces to the puzzle of you and your calling and really connecting with you know your core being then starts to make a big huge play so um if you're wanting to go after your dreams if you're wanting to if you're at a state where you're wanting to really realize more of who you are and why you're here and what you can do in this world then you're in the right place because this is what we talk about here and um to your calendar to see how it matches up Right, exactly. That's a good one for sure. I mean, your goals should really, you know, you can always tell if a woman's going in an upward direction by her planning and what her goals are and where she's headed. And so, um, anyway, I just welcome you girls all here. Today, we're going to be talking about how to plan your Mother's Day, which I thought was very fitting. And I want to give you some steps. We've talked about it before, but it is coming and we're going to be, we're diving, if you haven't already, into your May goals. May is what tomorrow and we've got to dive in be thinking about our month as a, as a whole and then in particular use one or two pages of your goal pages to plan out your mother's day um so i have written out many a post about on my blog about mother's day but i will have to say i really kind of i was like why should mother's day be any different than any other special occasion or day um, I always found in the midst of my motherhood um, that you know when I had a lot of littles especially that you know Mother's Day I had high hopes and hey Lisa and you know it just 
before long, it just went down the tubes. I, you know, it just did. So there's a couple of things that we definitely can do to um, have a really wonderful day and just bask in that day because after all, it's set up for us, right? If you're a mom, you get it. I mean, we are, it's a day that I really love to celebrate and if anything, get hugs and or kisses from my big kids. Okay, so um, it's something that I really look forward to doing. I always go get my flowers. That's what I love to do. I love to wake up. I love, you know, the whole idea of having a clean home in the morning when I wake up. And I love to go have, I love to have breakfast. And if someone made it for me, wonderful. If not, I just love the whole idea of breakfast on that day. Of course, you know, I'll touch on that in just a little bit. But, and I then I love to go with my family and we'll go pick out our annual flowers where we pot them and we spend the whole afternoon potting flowers and we'll grill out, you know, no huge deals. And we do, we avoid the crowds with our huge family. And we do a big grill out and cake and just relax and have fun together. But those are some of the things that I do that I absolutely love. So when you're in your planner and you're deciding what you would love to do and how you'd like to do it, this your planner and in your goal pages is where you wanna be with your pen and, and imagine what you want that day to look like. I think the biggest mistake, first and foremost, it is, it's a really great thing to do. I've been doing it for years and years and years and years and years and it's been so much fun. I even buy little kid gloves for my littles and they would help me and it would be a gigantic, dirt fun filled blast okay and so it just was an all day affair and, and usually it's just an absolute beautiful day so it really turns out um anna is mad no dessert this year anna 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 is that your daughter we used to do that with my mama oh really amanda that's for my stepmom and in law that never thought of doing something myself um, hello, Amber, it's time, okay? So let's dive right in um, and talk about this. Um, so begin thinking of what you'd like to do for your own mom, okay? So that's first, my mom is in town and I like to celebrate her on the day before so I can devote to her fully and then on Sunday with my own family. So what I like to do is think of my own mama. So what, because I, she, deserves of course to be celebrated and so what what I like to do is we never really combine it and this is just what we do so a lot of times maybe all of us would get together on a Sunday and you know celebrate mine or whatever I split mine up so and my mom's cool with it so that works so what we'll do is me usually it's a girly adventure adventure so um, it'd be me and my mom and my sister Anna and we would go and take her out to lunch and have a great girly time and celebrate her and, and you know, just give her some wonderful gifts and I think through all of it of what I'm gonna do. Um, and and it's just a really wonderful time, so that's what we do. And then Sunday then is devoted to me and my kids and my family and that's which is a lot of fun. So whether, if your mother and mother-in-law are out of town, then be thinking of them and what you can send them. And then also, oh, my sister, <laughs> yes, Melissa, actually, they will be mad. Um, and because of my whole fasting and all of this, they've been ticked for a month now that not just with intermittent fasting, just the vegan side of me, they've been mad at. Anna's like, oh, can you have a cookie? Oh yeah, you can't, you know, she gets mad. She's just going to have to get over it. So anyway, um, that's what we do. So, and then, so we'll be thinking in advance, we'll be writing some things down, be dreaming up what they would love, whether you're going to send them flowers or a gift and what date on the calendar does that need to be shipped so that you make sure that they get them or if they're in town, what can you do for them? So plan that out um, to a T and I do that every single year and I plan that out today. Oh, was she talking smack about me, Melissa? Because, oh, I'm gonna have to listen to it and then call her up. <laughs> um, okay, so then I like to think, what do I want to do for breakfast? Okay, so I dream about this. Like, what do I wanna do for breakfast when I wake up? Do I wanna have a big breakfast for everyone? Um, so the, some of the things that I like to do is I like to set myself up. Okay, this is like a volleyball, okay? I like to set myself up for success, okay? so. You don't want to go to bed and then wake up and just expect magical fairies to make sure that the house is clean and that everyone's going to have, you know, an apron on. Now, that sometimes can happen. Um, 
and they skip the weekends. You know what? Anyway, I found out anyway that, um, Heather, that you can have that once a week and you'll do just great. And it's even good to, to trip up the, the metabolism. Uh, both father and law are in the same area, 20 minutes travel to each. Well, that's totally up to you, Vern. I mean, you can totally, I don't know. I couldn't imagine merging mine, but some families can. So I've heard of some of them being friends. So that's a possibility. Or you can send something to them or go plan it with them. Talk to them, see what they want to do. Dream it up, envision it up. What do you want to do? What are you willing to do? That's what this whole envisioning thing is. So I like sit down on the couch. I'm like, okay, what can I do? And then I'll think, what am I willing to do? And then with that in mind, then I'll call them up and see what they think. So that's kind of how I always do things. I'm like, okay, I'm planning this out. What am I willing to do? What do I want to do? Where, what, do, what will I not do? And then I go ahead and, and call in either my kids to talk about what the plans are, or, are, or call the person that it, it, it is in regards. And so that's how I do those kind of, those things. So make sure you do that. Um, so for me, what I like to do is the night before Mother's Day, girls, Go to bed with your house clean. Go with your house clean. Go just make sure you run through that house and you just get that house spotless, okay? And if you wanna have breakfast in the morning, you know, it depends on what your family is. You know if they will, if they wanna do it, if you wanna just leave it alone and let them surprise you because you don't care. But what I've done, what I've done, I've made my pancake batter in advance because John's like, hey, my husband, he's like, hey, we wanna do, we wanna do this for you. And I'm like, okay. So what I'll do is I'll like make the pancakes and you know in advance the dry batter and all they gotta do is add a little bit of milk and vanilla or whatever. And my pancake batter's up on Planner Perfect Meals if you guys want that. But that's what you that's what I would do. And then I would have it just sitting out and it's easy. And but anyway, but that's just if that is your bag. It just depends on how you'd love to spend your day. Maybe that isn't how you do want to do it. And actually this year is going to be different for me where I probably will just enjoy um cuz I'm have this diet that I'm doing that's going to push me. I eat one meal a day and so it pushes me to dinner. So I will be doing that, but nothing would bring me more joy than even to just feed my family a big breakfast and sit outside and enjoy the weather and be with them. So it's kind of like all what you want to do. So you sit down and you enjoy dreaming about that day, okay? Now, put all the expectations aside, okay, of how everyone should behave, okay? I learned that the hard way. <laughs> so it's like, why is everyone screaming and crying and fist fighting on Mother's Day? I mean, could we not have waited till tomorrow, okay? So I, I let all that go, and I literally don't let the conditions of anything it's called Jenny Pancakes, right? It's delicious. Um, well, see, there you go, Kelly, your husband out of town. Do that. I mean, I would really want to make it really, really, really special if my husband's not there to help. I would just make it all about enjoying each other on that day. I mean, I could see that where I would just be like, let's do this and let's go to the movies or let's go pick flowers together and then we'll go plant them and then we're gonna have an amazing dinner and it's cause it's mama's day and mama loves you and let's be together. And it's kind of just really showering love back and forth. Don't you guys feel like that anyways? It's just a, it's a love both ways. I don't even look at it as like, what are you gonna do for me? But rather, I can't believe how much you have done for me in my life. <laughs> you know, it's really just, I love you. 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 Okay. Was that eight? So I just, it's just that kind of love stuff. So it's the love connection. And so you just want to, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, when any, when those kind of things happen, if my husband's going to be gone or leaving, I spent, I, I do extra fun. Now my husband's even going to be gone this latter part of the weekend with my older son, Thursday through Saturday. I'm like, oh man, the weather's gonna be really nice and you're gonna be gone. I was like, shoot, forget it. We're gonna plan on, you know, going to the beach and just walking along the beach. We're gonna plan picnics and really fun dinners and we're gonna make it lots of fun. I mean, that's just what, it's, that's, it's exciting. It's you just turn it around and start planning and dreaming up different ideas of what you can do. So anyway, girls, 
plan go to bed with your house clean so set yourself up for success that way be clean be set yourself up don't expect other people to do it for you um, but pick it up because there's always gonna be a mess somewhere someone can always help during the day on the on Mother's Day but have it set up so that it's nice and clean and then if you want get your breakfast ready to go so that you don't even have to wake up and make it all get it set up if you're the one who's gonna be making a beautiful breakfast get it all ready for you so it's easy you know so um, I'm at plannerperfectmeals.com and just look up my, just put in pancakes in the search bar and bam, they're really good. So, um, so then what I do, um, what I love to do too then is have Pep everyone kind of pitch in and help you clean up. I'll be like, hey guys, help mom clean up. You know, we all kind of clean up because how I get them excited to clean up is not saying it's time to clean up um, or else. It's, I always go, guys, let's clean up because after this, you know, we're all going to get ready and we're going to do this today and this day. So everyone gets kind of excited for the day and everyone's eager to help. So that's, at least with my kids, and if you, I always found that if you kind of twist it like we're all in it together, then they tend to be in it with you. And so anyway, that's what I do with mine and it seems to work. So I do that and then we get ready and I plan out the rest of my day. So, um... Now, also write down how you'd like to have your home look. I already had said that. Um, so we already did that. And then what do you want to do in your day? So like I said, what I do is I go and plant flowers. So then after that, we'll go, we'll, I'll make an amazing lunch for us. And then we'll all head out and we peruse the um, nursery and pick out the most beautiful flowers. Now, mind you, I also map that out in my planner every May in my goal section. I'm like, what kind of flowers do I want? What do I want around my mailbox? Do I want marigolds? My mom always had marigolds and they last and they're so hardy. And then my mom always put a cute pumpkin in the fall because they last forever. Nestled in her mom, pump in her marigolds underneath the mailbox. And I just want to scream and kick her in the pants because that's so cute and around trees she always just had the most cutest simplest ideas so i always take from her a little bit and so i love to get marigolds and so i'll look around my whole house try to you know my husband gets out all my pots and so i look all over my whole house i'm like okay i've got these two pots what am i envisioning here you know i want them to be fantastic Sometimes I don't want to just stick in a bunch of pansies and call it a day. I want something tall in the middle and then some, you know, I'm, I'm looking on Pinterest. I'm looking up different ideas. I'm looking up what other landscape guys do for potted plants and stealing the ideas and getting inspired off of it. I mean, I want like, you know, sensational pots. Okay. So that's what I do. And I get down to a tea exactly the kind of flowers I'm looking for. So I'm not in the nursery like, well, I guess those would look good over there, maybe in the backyard. Do I need some soil or do we have mud in the back? You know, I come prepared, okay? So I always beautify my goal pages with flowers. I'll be showing you my pages on the fan page, okay? But every year I do this and it's just a matter of, you know, marigolds in the front and then this in my pod and this in the backyard patio and this in the basement patio and... You know what I mean? So I map it out to a T and then I'm ready. I'm, I'm mapped. Okay, I'm totally mapped. So now, um, we'll, then we'll come home. I get to make sure everyone's got their gloves. Do I need new gardening gloves? The whole thing is fun. So we plan out the whole day. I even plan out the drinks. You got to have iced tea, lemonade for the kids. I have it all mapped. And it's so much fun when you're prepared and you know what you're doing. It's just a lot of fun. It's, it's just all ready to go. So then dinner, I always write down what I'd like to have happen. Now, mind you, you can plan all of this. And then if spontaneity pops in, or if your husband's got a grand idea that you didn't know about, scratch your plans. But the whole idea is, is that you've got the main foundation plan going on. And so, um, Soaked geraniums. <laughs> Kayla, you're cracking me up. No, I do the real for reals. Uh, but 
for dinner. I just, you know, so just if someone surprises you, scratch your plans. But man, isn't it great to know that you've got the old standby of what you know really how you want that to go and what you're doing. And, and if anything, spont you know, spontaneous happens or surprises come your way, then your plans can easily be adjusted or scratched or it's not a big deal. But you kind of have an idea of a flow that you've dreamed up for your day to spend with your children and your husband. And that's what you can do. Or just even with just your children and if you don't even, you know, without a husband, or let's say it's just you, and what if you don't even have children in state that aren't gonna be with you? You know what I would do? I would be planning a beautiful day to celebrate me. That's what I would be doing. I wouldn't even hesitate of what I wanted to do from the moment I woke up from the time I went to bed, and I'd be calling my children even before they called me, telling them how much I love them, and the whole nine yards. So there's always ways around everything. There's always something that you can do for you. So just remember that. So write down what you want to do for dinner. I don't mind cooking, but I love the grilling aspect so that I can just kind of sit and relax and just drink my favorite beverage while my husband cooks. And it keeps, uh, yes, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Jill. And so it's just, you know, sipping on an iced tea while my husband cooks and all I have to do is make a quick salad. That's easy and it's easier to clean up. So I love the grilling aspect. So I kind of gear around that. Um, out to eat, we have so many people in our family, we don't even try it. And so we stay home on that day and we do all of our, we do grilling and all my older kids come back and you know, the couple married ones and all of that fun stuff. So it's just a really, really, really amazing fun time. So, and then dessert, that's a must. So make sure that you've kind of got a plan. Now, I know I realize I'm planning this like a mad woman. However, I just have had my share throughout the 24 years of, you know, marriage and kids that, you know, sometimes you just have Mother's Days that has nothing. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, I thought your mom was going to bring the cake. You know, it's just, I just, you know, I plan it. <laughs> I just want to, I don't want to even, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm setting myself up for the, for the, the bestest idea. And then I will run it by my husband. I'll be like, hey, listen, um, I'm gonna go pick up my husband, my, my, my husband. I'm gonna go pick up my favorite cake um, at this bakery with your wallet. And then I just wanna let you know that that's what I'm doing. So just, you know, so we're on the same page, you know? And then if he says something different, um, planning on a weekend of things I wanna do and that could ever persuade anyone else to do me. See, there you go, Julie. That's what I was talking about. I would be spending the day having the time of your life, sipping on your favorite Starbucks, smelling flowers, reading my favorite books, having the most delicious dinner, and just enjoying myself. And just, I would be journaling about my how wonderful my families and my children are. You know, it just, it just runs the gamut, what you can do. So um, that is something that is a must, is planning your dessert. I mean, honestly, and then cross it by your husband, cross it by maybe some people that it might, um, you know, you know, you don't wanna be awkward and weird about it, but whatever, you know, however important it is to you and your stage of where you're at in life, if you've got a little bunch of little kids or that would be important to a bunch of my kids. So it's kind of like if I have it, then it's like a symbolic thing and it's like, all I gotta do is cross it by my husband because I know no one else is gonna come and bring it to me except for my own kids and I don't think they would. So it's kind of like you just gotta weigh out what your family is and what they would do and all of that. But what I do is I make sure that a cake is accounted for because it just kind of, it kind of finales up the night and it's just kind of fun. Like, so I even go that far. Um, and then I like to write down how I'm going to even finish my night. I mean, I do that anyway in my planner. I mean, I'm like, after dinner, what's my plans? I mean, I've got certain books I'm reading. Um, do kids, certain kids need baths? After that, what I plan on doing? What am I tackling? Um, there you go, there you go. <clears throat> oh, yay, yeah, Amanda, it is. <clears throat> it is her first Mother's Day, isn't that wonderful? So yeah, totally be thinking about how you're gonna finish off the evening. I mean, what kind of book do you wanna dive into? Over in our Planner Perfect um, book club, we're doing um, Emma. So I have a good feeling that I'm gonna be diving into Emma. And, um, but it's just writing down how you wanna finish off that night. Um, I do, I write it in my goal section, Anita. And I'm gonna show you those in my fan pages here. 
this week of how I plan for this and it'll be a two-day spread and it'll have you know what I plan to do when once I dream it all up and then on those on, even on the next page I'll probably have all of my flower choices of what I'm picking and what I want to buy so yeah it will go in my goal section and then on the Mother's Day page when it is May is it May 13th this year on that Sunday on Mother's Day then I can just pull from it and you kind of just pull from all of that dreaming and, and for you know that that pre-thinking you've done and pull from it and just script out that day pulling from it like oh yep we're gonna do this we're gonna be doing that and this is how I see it flowing this is what I'm gonna do in the evening and you just pull in from those goals that you so heavily um, put time and intent and thinking about so that's how you would do that um, so dream up that whole eating. Maybe you're going to end it with a glass of wine sitting outside with your husband and the kids watching a movie. I mean, I really, really, and then if things are different or altered or changed, it really doesn't matter, but you've got a, just a dream of, of how you envision it. And, and whenever you've kind of got this, this idea and this, this dream and this excitement around something, this is why the method works, girls is that you, you're you on a frequency of that and you get yourself into this amazing God frequency that brings everything that you're wanting and dreaming to you. So you're just attracting everything you're desiring just to you like a magnet. And that's the beauty of dreaming. And being a visioneer for your life because then you're just you're, you're you're envisioning it you're dreaming about it you can see it in your mind's eye you're thinking about it you're, you're thinking about it so thoroughly that it's like it's already happened it's like that futuristic event is you you're, you're excited about it as though it's already has happened and whenever you do that this is why this kind of method and this kind of mapping is so crucial to personal growth and to to expanding and growing in your life is because it taps you into a frequency that attracts everything that you're wanting to you. And, and that's why you're not a task manager doing majority of the things you hate and the rest you don't really care about. And then you're writing that down and then you never look at it and you're not dreaming about it. Certainly you're not fantasizing about it for reals. And so that we always have to adhere to that kind of a plan or a task manager. You're always looking at it. You got to check it off or, oh gosh, I didn't do it. Cause you know, you get, your whole identity is in, in these lists. And then if that doesn't work, then my God, who am I? And then, so the whole thing tends to go into the trash really quick. And then you try a new planner, hoping maybe that'll work. Maybe you just needed a different planner. And so we go from planner to planner to planner. But, but this is why this method is phenomenal because it's about, it's about dreaming and finding joy and dreaming about your life and finding the, and, and matching that frequency to God's frequency. And when you do that, then everything that you're desiring comes to you and you don't even, it's, it's effortless. It's effortless. And if all my girls who are in here who are used to, or just, you do the method on, on an everyday basis and know this to be true, I mean, raise your hand because it is very, very true. It's something where your day flows, things go, and when they don't, it's not even a big deal because you know that it's that it can flow to the next day because you're in this flow state and you don't have to adhere to it like a task manager and you don't have to. It's just things are attracted to you because you're a dreamer. You're a dreamer and that's what this method and this kind of planning does for you. And um, it's just a high vibration dreaming state. And so when you get into the visionary type of life and you're wanting more, then you're real quick to get anything out of your life that doesn't match up to where you're going. And if it doesn't, if you can't get rid of it now, then you're going to, you're, you're already mapping when you can get rid of it or you're delegating it out or you're, you're doing things to get everything aligned with, with where you're going. So you'll always find that your life will always kind of be like this and this, but you're always making a steady upward climb. And um, that's what it's all about because even those dips teach you something. Those are just teachable moments. You're like, ah, wake up call. Oh, got it. Oh yeah, shouldn't have done that. All right, got it. You know, but, you, but, you're, but you're going up every single day and your life planner, your planner should be showing that you where you're headed and where you're going I mean that you are going somewhere you know 
Ah, uh, I know, Anita. Honestly, it really, really is um, amazing. Thank you. I'm so glad that you um, are finding it just as amazing as I do because it has been, um, well, it's all I really, it's all I've really known for the longest time, except for my early twenties when I was floundering around and trying to find uh, in Franklin Covey's and all those kind of things. And I definitely didn't want that ring binder like my mom's. Um, and so, oh, Michelle, good. I'm so glad. Oh, how fun. Wonderful. Uh, now, girls, I definitely would love to see some of your Mother's Day pages. So if you would, on the fans page, show me your spreads. If you've got questions, if you want to know, hey, inspire me again. How do I do this? You know, I'm thinking this, but what do I do? Or if you got questions, just put them down. But I'll be, I'll be showing you my pages too for inspiration. And let's make it the best Mother's Day yet. And don't forget, don't hold people at an expectation. Leave them alone. You know what I mean? Leave people alone. It doesn't matter what they do. Nothing's going to ruin your day because joy is from within. No one can take it away. So if babies are crying and there's a fist fight brewing on, it doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> I'm teasing. You know what I mean. But just, you know, your husband's in a bad mood. It does it just don't hold people to any expectation. You know what you're doing that day. You're full of joy. Kiss those babies and go get your gardening gloves on, okay? And um, you've got it mapped. If you've got it mapped, and just love everybody unconditionally because that's what we're called to do and so girls I hope that that has inspired you I have a couple of the things I wanted to chat about but I'm not gonna be able to get to it tonight it was about my fountain pens which I will be touching again with you shortly um, if you didn't catch the video it's over on the I think it's on both the pages the page here and on my fans page but I'm a fountain pen believer um, and I cannot believe I have not used them before. I was, I've, I've, I've used calligraphy pens, but not the fountain pens. My life is now renewed. I mean, I can't even, I can't even believe it. So, um, I, Amanda, God bless you. I know it's, it's truly, truly life changing. So show me your mother's day pages, girls. Um, and have fun dreaming. Begin tonight. It's Sunday. No, it's not Sunday. It's Monday, but hey, it's the beginning of the week. Get in there. Get in your May. Get a two-day spread. Make it beautiful in the center. Say, you know, Mother's Day and start mapping out what you're going to do for your mom and how you want your days to look. So girls, until tomorrow, see you then. Bye.